Hello and welcome to this tutorial. As some of you may know, the Florida Building Code 2023 has just come into action on January 1st, 2024. And um, one of its notable amendments is that the Florida Building Code 2023 refers to ASCE 7-22 instead of ASCE 7-16. So for that reason, we have created this new CLAC calculator. Let's go check it out. We're going to start with the components and cladding. There were not a lot of notable changes of, uh, between these uh, codes. However, there were some equation changes uh, and some coefficient and also some factors that were changed. If you go to the detailed mode and scroll down to the window parameters, the first change here is that the wind directionality factor KD used to be inside the velocity pressure uh, equation. However, now it's moved to the wind pressure uh, equation, as you can see here. Also, our uh, ground elevation factor, uh, sorry, the velocity pressure exposure coefficient has also changed. These, uh, these numbers uh, used to be 2.01, if I um, remember correctly. As well as if you scroll down, these coefficients uh, have changed quite a bit for gable and hip roof types um, based on the graphs that are now in figure 30.3-1 for walls and figure 30.3-2 for roofs. As you can see, uh, it has been uh, quite a bit, uh, it has been simplified quite a bit uh, for gable and hip roofs. Now you only have five zones and you can see that the diagram has also been updated. The same goes as well for hip. If you switch to hip, you can see that we only have five zones. Also, some of the, uh, there were some changes for moriferous envelope procedure. If you scroll down, now you can see that the, one of the most evident changes were that now we only have uh, load case uh, one and two. Before, they used to be load case A and B. We also have the same change that are done for the equation of wind pressure. As you can see now, KD is included in the equation for wind pressure. These were all the changes between AAC 7-16 and AAC 7-22 for wind loads. Uh, please let us know if you have any further questions or suggestions. We would love to hear them. Uh, please email us at uh, clearcast.support.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.